Hello and welcome to Expert on the Spot. My name is Dr. Ehud Cohen and I'm working at the Institute for Medical Research, Israel, Canada, at the Hebrew University Medical School in Jerusalem. My laboratory is focused on the aging process and its mechanistic links to late onset neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, and prion disorders. One of the major questions in our field is why does disorders onset late in life? Apparently, patients who carry disease-linked mutations have everything which is needed for the symptoms to manifest early in life. They carry the mutated gene, they express the aberrant protein, but still, there are no symptoms until they are in their late 40s or early 50s. In order to address these questions, we thought maybe we could manipulate the aging process and see if this manipulation could postpone the onset of the disease. Manipulate the aging process? This is possible because unlike thought until several decades ago, the aging process is not a general deterioration process which could be compared to what you observe in your new car when you just buy it, everything runs smoothly. But you know that after a few years, things start to deteriorate and you have to visit the garage from time to time. This is part of the story. But aging is also genetically regulated. We can manipulate specific genetic pathways and alter the aging process. This uh, manipulation could be uh, done in several organisms, including worms, and when we do it in worms, we can double their lifespan. So we created worms that express disease-linked uh, proteins and asked whether we can postpone the onset of disease by manipulating the aging process. We could, and found that aging enables those disorders to manifest late in life. Next, we've done it in mice in order to ask the question whether what we found in the worm is apparently conserved to the mammalian system and found that it is. So this is a new uh, avenue of research that opened the uh, way, hopefully, to develop new treatments towards Alzheimer's disease. If you want to hear more about our long-term goals and our new findings, I welcome you to submit your questions here in the site, and within a week, I'll be able to answer it. Thank you, and see you on the site.